Hey guys, I am Brian, and today I am going to teach you how to master radio communication in your aircraft. Maybe you're a student pilot and you struggle with some of the radio phraseology, whatever they call it. Maybe you struggle with that. Um, perhaps you're a student pilot and you learn to fly at an uncontrolled field or perhaps just a really poorly towered field. Um, but the fact is, a lot of the times when you're a new pilot and you get in the airplane, it can feel a lot like this. Get that way to fulfill us, dude. So today I'm going to give you a couple of tools and tips that you can use on your radio. If you ever find yourself confused or in a bind, you can use these tools at any time to get yourself back on track, get your head straight. I'm going to take you from a Radio Zero to a Golden Tongue Hero in less time than it takes to copy a clearance after a bit of pre-flight binge drinking. Let's hop in the plane. How many times has this happened to you? Ground Central, Bravo, Spoke the Wichita Midcon Airport via Vintage 77, turn left after takeoff, proceed direct to Global City Vortex, hold west via Global City 277, radio climb, maintain 5,000, in holding before proceeding on course, maintain 5,000 to catch on the intersection. This video will ensure you have all the tools you need to feel confident on the radio and never be a deer in headlights again. Uh, yeah. Ever find yourself tongue tied at the local field? Uh, Northwest traffic, Grumman 7, Julia Bravo. Any traffic in the pattern? I've, uh, I've got you on the fish. Finder, please, le I'm with you uh, for final right 338. Three, right final, three, left, I said base. Base, left base. Many pilots spend hours studying how to talk on the radio. But what if I told you there was a simpler way? That's right, throw those books in the trash. In the next five minutes, you are going to learn everything you ever needed to know about communicating on the radio from the world's only master fake CF triple I, Brian with a Y. All right, this next statement, I have the weather, is important because checking the ATIS is fine, but checking the ATIS takes time. You didn't become a pilot because you got a lot of time on your hand. Most pilots are older, and they actually just don't have a lot of time. So uh, I have the weather. You say that, and, and you can go, and you don't have to check. It's a lie. They know you're lying. You know you're lying. Everyone knows I have the weather is a lie, but uh, that's going to get you to the run-up area the fastest. Dead ground, ground 7, Julia Bravo is ready to taxi, and uh, I have the weather. Grumman 7 Judah Bravo, then ground, uh, turn right on Bravo, runway uh, 1AF Bravo, and um, it'll merge with Alpha at Alpha 3. So now we're in the run-up area. What happens when you're trying to copy an IFR clearance and the tower guy is just rattling it off? It's super complicated and he's talking a million miles a minute. I've got the answer for you. Watch this. Major Tower, Grumman 7 Julia Bravo is ready to copy IFR clearance. Grumman 7 Julia Bravo is cleared to the Wichita Midcon Airport via Victor 77. Turn left after takeoff. Proceed direct to Oklahoma City Vortex. Hold west via Oklahoma City 277. Radio climb. Maintain 5,000. In holding before proceeding on course. Maintain 5,000 to catch on intersection. Climb. Maintain 7,000. Departure control 118.10415 is the squawk. Grumman 7 Julia Bravo would like to cancel IFR at this time. All right, 7 Julia Bravo. Cancel IFR. You're cleared wherever you want to go via the magenta line. Climb to pattern altitude. Expect to bus whatever airspace between here and there. Mark control is 121.5, squawk 7600, ready for departure in just a minute. I gotta finish my Chipotle. Next thing I wanna talk about is something I call self clearance. Uh, you don't got a lot of time. You didn't become a pilot because you have time on your hands, and you sure as heck don't wanna let the tower slow you down. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to keep going without letting the tower slow you down. Um, we're gonna do what's called a self clearance, and it's important right after the self clearance. Uh, we change our transponder to 7600, and then you never have to worry about the tower again. Tower Grumman 897 Julia Bravo is holding short 18 left VFR departure to the south. 897 Julia Bravo, thanks. Runway inspection going on, just give me a minute or two. Hold short runway 18 left, thanks. 18 left, clear for takeoff, 897 Julia Bravo. So how do you handle the radio when you've just busted Bravo? Well, I'm going to show you. I'm going to take one for the team. So I'm under the 3,000-foot shelf of the DFW Bravo. I'm going to go ahead and climb up into it and show you how I handle the radio communication with uh, ATC once I've done a Bravo bust. This is going to happen to you. 
There's about five stages you go through in a Bravo bus. These stages include uh, denial, misunderstanding, gaslighting, precaution, and finally evasion. All right, so I'm in the Bravo without a clearance. Uh, any moment now they should come on and uh, give me crap about it. Grumman 7J Bravo, you just busted Bravo airspace. Uh, no, I didn't. Grumman 7J Bravo, you're in Bravo airspace. I did not clear you in. Roger, cleared into the Class B airspace. Thank you very much. Grumman, you are not cleared into the Bravo at this time. I'm uh, sorry, you're coming in a little bit garbled. Uh, I can't quite make out what you're saying. Grumman, let me know when you're ready to copy a number. Uh, sorry, I can't. I'm flying an airplane right now. Is this your first day? You have no idea how this works. I'm, I'm, I'm flying an airborne aircraft. Grumman, you aren't cleared into the Bravo. I need you to take down a number. Sorry, I don't have a pen. Is, uh, could you just email that to me? Um, also, you're coming in uh, You're coming in pretty garbled. Why don't you switch to my frequency, 121.5, uh, 7 Julia Bravo. That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. You're in airspace without clearance, and I need you to copy a number. Uh, student pilot. Blocked. You're blocked. Also, I filled out a NASA report, so it's a, it's a non-issue. I think somebody uh, cut, cut you off at the end there. This really isn't working. Change the frequencies and squawk at VFR. You have a great day. Sorry about that. I was on the landline. Uh, what were you saying? We're sorry. You've reached the voicemail of Brian. I'm going to show you a radio call that's called the Universal Pause. This will basically put everything on hold and allow you to collect your thoughts if you're having an issue. It works 100% of the time. I'm about to enter this airport here, and I'm going to make a radio call, let them know I'm coming in, and I'm going to show you the universal pause. Beecham Tower, Grumman 7, Julia Bravo, Mike Patey just dropped another video. Uh, I'm going to go around and do some 360s over the field for about an hour, uh, and I'll, uh, I'll rejoin you once, uh, once the video's over. Thanks. 7, Julia Bravo. Understood. Attention all aircraft. Mike Patey has just dropped a new video. The tower will close at this time and the airspace will revert to a Class E for about an hour. For now, please give position reports on CTAP. Tower will reopen and get back to work once we finish the video. That's it. You now know everything you need to know to communicate on the radio in any situation. That's got to feel really good, doesn't it? Like you are a radio master if you've gotten this far in the video. Um, so uh, congratulations on being awesome on the radio. Um, your other pilot friends are going to notice it. They're going to know you're in the air and they're going to think that you studied your butt off to learn all this stuff. You and I know the secret and that's why this video is so important. So thank you for watching. Thanks to those that subscribe. Thank you to Gold Seal for sponsoring the videos and thank you to the Patreon supporters. I'll catch you guys in the next one. You guys fly smart. Be a problem. I don't. I don't know. Is the wind going to be a problem? Is the plane going to be a problem? No way that guy did a run up. Hey, I'm going to teach you to master using the radio in your aircraft. Um, maybe you're windy and it's windy out here, and that's going to mess up the microphones. Don't know. But the point is, a lot of the times when you're a new pilot and you're in the airplane, it can feel a lot like you don't know how to make words. You can use these tools on the radio in any situation and get out of a trying. You should write everything down that you're going to say. You should write everything down that I'm going to say instead of just putting bullets here and then dancing around it. Hey guys, I'm Brian, and today I'm going to teach you to master com communicating. I'm going to teach you to master communicating. Hey guys, I'm Brian, and today I'm going to teach you how to master communicating on the radio in your aircraft. I just looked at the plane. In less time than it takes to copy a clearance. Click this link to see the most recent video upload. Click this link to see a video that YouTube thinks you might like. Click this link to subscribe to my channel.